Good afternoon, this is Jim, the Budget Audiophile, signing on again. And today, we're going to talk about how to repair split album covers. Let's take a quick look at what we're talking about here. So here we've got a copy of the Baby Brothers, a, a good Canadian band that um, is really not collected anymore. And like so many uh, rock and pop albums, the glue has failed where the cover meets the fold over here. Now, in, in some of the recommendations I've seen on YouTube as to how to repair this, it, it involves a really terrible idea of glue and clamps and stuff like that. Well, I was, uh, let's get this all set up here so that we can show you. I was in one of the better stores in Victoria one day, the turntable. And um, the guys there are always helpful with advice on the music. And one day, um, they were spinning some wax for me. And, uh, and the first thing he found when he brought out the record was that the album was split. He said, geez, why don't I fix that right now for you? And I'm going to show you what he showed me. And I think this is just a terrific way. So what do you need? You need a little pair of scissors. And you need some 3 8 inch double-sided 3M tape. And this is used for um, repairing the uh, screens on iPhones, etc. Apparently, flush-mounted screens are just simply double-taped down. So this is a really good, strong high quality tape. I found it on the internet for, this is a reduced roll, this is what's um, this is what's left after dozens of record repairs, but uh, for a little bigger roll um, I found it for ten dollars and um, 3M is a great company for anything to do with adhesives, it's a terrific company and um, anyways let's get into this. So this album I actually have to go digging because I, I I always repair my albums, even the five dollar bin albums. I I'll repair them if I can for people. So this has actually had stopped here, where the manufacturer had put a decent amount of glue. And uh, if you can, just get your finger in there and pry it open like I did, because you really want to fix the whole album. So just get it open. You've already got the record out of course get some nice big lead going watch the stuff it's really sticky you don't have to get it all the way into the end but what you don't want to do is get it hanging over the edge here you want that tape to be buried because it's sticky stuff you don't want it hanging around so here we go This is just the best way I've ever seen to repair albums. The only tricky part about this is getting the double side off. So what I like to do is I cut it back just a little bit and I cut it with a little bit of an angle on it, which gives me, let's get that tape out of the road. Let's bring this up so you can see that a little bit better. So you see I've got a little angle there. So we're gonna press this all down Watch your fingers for sharp paper edges. And now I'm going to get in here and I'm just going to work away on that edge where I've got the little finger because it's really easy to pull up the, the main sticky side, the other side. And, um, and this is, this happens a lot with albums that have really crappy cardboard, so you'll find it's really rough. This is quite smooth. In fact, the whole album is really minty. So, off it comes. Now, get your fingers in here so you can create just a small pocket before you start tacking it down. Just tack it down sort of in the middle. Just tap it down. And now we're just going to apply some pressure along that, that seam. 
and boom. Bob's your uncle. Look at that. That's fixed. It's dry. It's quick. There's no chance of glue getting anywhere where it shouldn't go. Let's put that on back in. And even though this is in very minty condition, it did have a record split, a jacket split. It doesn't have any more. And it'll go into the $5 bin and somebody will be really glad to get a nice record all in one piece. Let's take a quick, a quick look at something else. Another album jacket that's damaged. This is an older Columbia Masterworks Buck Glen Gold doing the Goldberg variations yet again. And this type of album cover actually had the paper did some sort of a wrap. So there's no, when you look inside here, so you can get the record out of there without destroying it. When you look inside, you can see, if you can see, there's no fold over. So without that fold over, if I was to put double-sided tape in here, I would actually close the album up so much, even at 3 eighths of an inch, that it, it would start to get difficult to get a record to slide into here. So there's a couple of options. For historically important records that I own, I would do this. Here's my favorite Christmas album. My beautiful wife bought it for me. It's one of the few brand new records that I own. Um, and what, what I've done here to protect it is I've thrown it into a sleeve and I've thrown a MoFi sleeve around the record. But with a damaged record that's an important record, or one in which you really can't fix the jacket easily, or the jacket's so badly damaged you can't use it, you can do this. You've got it inside an outer sleeve. Throw the record into your favorite MoFi sleeve, whatever sleeve turns your crank. I like the MoFi's. They're a little more expensive than everything else, but I don't want to ever have to buy these things again. In it goes. It's the wrong record, but you get the point. Now, we haven't done anything to the jacket at all. We can see the front. We can enjoy it. We don't need to stress over the fact that it's cracked. If we want to play the record. This is a shout out to 33 and a third RPM. Or is it 33 RPM? Anyways, he's a, he's a great guy. He's based in Manitoba. And he taught me this trick on one of his YouTubes. So this is how he stores his records. This is how he plays them. Out right, it comes, back in it goes. So that's a solution for that. You could always come along, if you really don't like to do that with your records, get some good quality scotch tape that is the, the hide variety. There's a couple of different types, and one of them is designed to hide the line of the tape. And just come along, And really, very carefully, run a line of tape. It's not ideal, but if you want to use that jacket, this may be your only quick and affordable way of doing it. Because if you're like me, you've got hundreds of records, and a lot of them need repair. Because the budget audio file buy is mostly used. I, these days, I mostly buy used collections. Um, just much more affordable that way and I keep a few records from the collection I sell the rest helps to fuel the hobby so there we go scotch tape is great stuff um, you can even these days you can even find it at the dollar store you don't need to go to stables and even though it is a repair and it is a little bit visible it'll hold nicely and uh, it, that's a that's a doable repair. Okay, so that's how to how to quickly repair your. Album.